What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto3 Garage. And if you're tuning in, I hope you consider joining the garage. And if you return, make sure to like and share this video. And welcome to the series, Is It Worth It? This is a CL500, one of my favorite Mercedes body style. I love it. Uh, the reason why I love it because it's uh, pillarless. If I'm saying that word right, where the windows, all of it can go down and you don't have a pillar or any object in your way. It's like, it's like the car is wide open. I also love the body style of the car and also the big boy V8, or rather if it's a V12, because they did have the CL 500, 600, and then you have your CL uh, 55, um, and your CL, CL 600, if I'm mistaken, which uh, some of them came with V12, some of them came with the, uh, V8. But this particular model right here is looking actually pretty damn clean. Um, these cars are known to have uh, ABC uh, suspension uh, issues. As you can see, this is a uh, V8, uh, 302 horsepower, 389 foot pound of torque, if I'm mistaken. But like I said, they have various numerous amount of sensors going out left and right. You know how these Mercedes can be when it goes to a sensor failure. You have to, you know, go in a computer, reprogram it and all that stuff and also they also had uh electrical issues with like the seats and basically inside the car with the control uh but anyway this guy want two grand for this car about got about 103 uh miles uh transmissions automatic uh he basically with this uh description he basically got two keys for it um he basically was discussing how the abc suspension and hoses was uh busting left and right and how he had to put spaces on the front side just in order to drive it but um i'm gonna let y'all know what i would do if i were to get this car just to prevent uh these uh high maintenance uh on these particular cars because uh looking at the build of the car is going about like what 16 probably with labor so going about six thousand just to do it especially at a mercedes dealership so guys other than the abc suspension this car can actually be a great candidate driving it but you will have some type of anxiety not knowing when when this uh, system will basically break down you could be on a long behind road trip and the sensor possibly go out or uh, a pump go out or a hose break you will never know but this car is a beautiful and i really adore it so let me build this car and let's continue so guys the first thing first i would do to save me a headache is get strut masters these coilovers right here i would do the abc suspension delete just uh you know have a good sense of reassurance that hey i'm going to be fine if i go this xo certain amount of miles away from home so this will be a good first upgrade for this car next modification i would do is the headlight i do not like the ugly original headlight so this will be much cleaner and modern next modification i would do is a new front uh spoiler splitter whatever you want to call it i think this will add a little little sweet sugar to this build or this particular car and it would bring it out more and maybe settle Next modification will probably be these wheels right here. I forgot the brand, but I know they are Forge uh, wheels. Uh, I also probably would keep the stock mono block wheels. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know what wheels will look good on this car. I think these will fit the best. I looked at other wheels and they didn't. So yeah, this be it. Now guys, if I really want to go all out, I would go with a Kelman V8 supercharger, but I probably won't due to the pricing which won't matter, but I will go along with this supercharger, which I could easily get it for seven to 800 bucks, depending. But hey, you let me know which supercharger kit would y'all go with. So guys, this is the car for two grand. Like I said, let me know if it's worth it. I believe the price range for these cars range from probably a thousand to 13, uh, depending on the condition of the car and the history of the car, especially the maintenance. You know with the big flaw with abc system uh this car is for two grand y'all let me know is it worth it and like i said i love uh, the w215 uh, the body style uh, of this car is just amazing phenomenal and it's something i would like the daily drive actually um someday hopefully and just go uh, with that let me know uh the uh, the comment upgrades that i recently listed 
uh, was they good? I mean, for me, they basic good for me, and that would like you know sort all the issues and stuff away. However, this car was a salvage title. Uh, he did let's say that the dealer didn't tell him why, but if you were to look up the VIN number uh, for this car, I'm pretty sure you can find the reason why. I don't know if it been in the reg or anything, but anyway, that would be it. Uh, is it worth it? Stay tuned for more videos. So, uh, Tahoe, Mercedes. Uh, Porsche and uh, just other little content. Stay tuned for the short forms, and that's pretty much it. Let's go.